Hi, my name is Todd. I'm an image analyst in the Department of Light Microscopy at the Francis Crick Institute. I'd like to thank you for taking this course and specifically this module with me. In this module, we're going to be working to integrate workflows between Python, Fiji, and Jython, which is an implementation of Python that's used inside of Fiji. Um, in Python, we're going to be using Jupyter Notebooks, and you should have installed Pandas, NumPy, and Scikit-Image in your Jupyter Notebooks, hopefully from a previous module already. In the first lesson, what we're going to do is use scikit image to generate a test image. This test image will be 20 circles that will have a random Gaussian distributed sizes. In the second lesson, we're going to learn a bit of Jython, which is, again, the type of Python that's used inside of Fiji, and write a Jython script that incorporates plugins from Fiji that we can record from the macro reader. Uh, this script will be able to call an image, run some plugins, and then export our data to a CSV file, and we're going to write the whole thing in Jython. In the final lesson, we're going to learn how to import a CSV file into Python, as well as using Panda's built-in CSV file importers. We'll then work to clean and validate data and to perform some mathematical operations on our data frames to see if measured circle sizes correspond to what we designed in lesson one. Throughout the module, there's going to be little practicals that you can pause the video and try. There's going to be one longer practical. At the end of lesson two, I'm going to present a simulated cells image that you can modify our worked out Jython script to analyze. And then at the end of lesson three, I'm going to invite you to measure the size of the cells you found from the second simulated cells image and compare that to what other people have got. You might ask why we would use Python inside of Fiji when there is so much image analysis that can be done just in Python alone. Uh, it's a very good question, and after this course, hopefully what you're going to find is you're doing most of your image analysis in Python. It does happen sometimes, though, that are workflows in Fiji's that work really well, and you can use Python to modify them um, just slightly. So as an example, I'm going to move myself out of the way here. So if we look over here, I have a function that I incorporate into a Jython script. The beauty of using Jython inside of Fiji is that we can write functions in Python and test them in our normal uh, IDEs and then push them into the Jython environment. So here what I'm using is just a, a simple function that will find an, an iteration number from this long string here uh, so that I can reorder my images in their correct order in a time series. Um, it, this is difficult to do in Fiji normally, but it's relatively easy using regular expressions and whatnot in Jython, which are things that are not suitable for this module, but it's just to show that you can write a simple function inside of Python, test it, and then incorporate it into your Jython script so that you can further and automate your image analysis. So again, I'd like to thank you for taking the course, and at the end, if you have any questions, please let us know.